Okay, we have a question. You have been tasked to design a Norman window with a width of 2x meters and a length of y meters. Calculate its perimeter if the total area of the window is 2 meters squared. Now, if you don't know what a Norman window is, a Norman window is a rectangle uh, with a semicircle on top. So it's a composite shape window. And it looks like that, as illustrated in the diagram. And this will be our first step, is to draw a diagram. Okay, so it's got a width of 2 metres, a length of Y, and it's being, in the question asked, calculate its perimeter. Now, I've seen videos out there on YouTube where they, where they ask and solve uh, calculate its maximum area or maximum light that can come through the window. Mine's slightly different where we've been given an area and the question is asking calculate its perimeter. So uh, just quickly looking at it, you've got 2x, you'll be having 2y and the uh, length of the semicircle. Now that being said, that is step two complete. So we'll kick things off with the perimeter. Of the window. And that is being equal to 2x plus 2y plus 2 pi r over 2. Uh, div being divided by 2 is because we want uh, a set, we want the length of a semicircle. So the 2's will cancel out and we will have a function, a perimeter function of the following. Pi x. Okay. Now our third step is to work with the constraint. And we've been given an area, so window area equals two meters squared. And the area is a composite shape of area of rectangle plus area of semicircle. Okay, and that's illustrated in our diagram. So the two meter squared is spread amongst the semicircle and the rectangle adjoined. And we will get the following. Uh, substituting in the values, we'll get length by width for the rectangle would be 2xy. And the area of the semicircle is pi r squared, or in our case is x squared, all over 2. Now, to get rid of the 2 at the bottom, I'm going to times each term, each of the three terms, by 2. So we will get 4 being equal to 4xy plus pi x squared. Okay, and we're going to solve for y. And y will equal 4 minus pi x squared. That is divided by 4x. Now, that's as far as you can go, but for the sake of the derivative, instead of using the quotient rule, I'm going to break the fraction up. So I'm going to have it so it's 1 over x uh, being minus by pi x over 4. And that is as far as you can go. So our fourth step is to put the y function back into the perimeter of the window function. And therefore the perimeter... will equal 
2x plus 2 being multiplied by y, which we know is 1 over x, pi x over 4. Okay. And then the pi x, of course, goes with it. And just going to expand the two out and collecting the like terms, you're going to be left with x over 2 pi plus 4 plus 2 over x. And that is what we're going to take the derivative of. So the derivative of the perimeter function in relation to x, or with respect to x, is, is very easy, this one. It's, you're going to be left with pi plus 4 divided by 2 minus 2x squared. We're going to set this to 0. setting it to zero. You'll get pi plus four over two minus two over x squared. Taking the two over x squared term left of the square root uh, will give us two over x squared uh, being equal to pi plus 4 over 2. So x is now 2 under the square root radical. Pi plus 4 over 2. And if you were to put that into the calculator, uh, you will get uh, approximately... 0 0.74 meters. Now, our, the other variable we want to solve for is its length, or in this case, y, and that y is 1 over x from our uh, constraint over, take away, sorry, pi over 4x, we substitute x for 0 0.74, and we will get y being equal to also 0 0.74. Now, we have calculated for x up here and y here, but that's not our answer. Our answer asks us to calculate, the question rather asks us to calculate the perimeter. So the perimeter of window uh, equals 2x plus 2y plus pi x. And we know that from our step number two. So the perimeter is 2 times 0 0.74 plus 2 times 0 0.74 plus pi being multiplied by 0 0.74. And that would be our answer, which I shall quickly do on a calculator. perimeter will be 5.28 meters and that's our answer there and that's as hard as uh, optimization will go so I've done a range of optimization questions please have a look around my channel um, 
this one was quite a tough question and um, as you can tell by the other videos made by other people calculating its area it's quite long and tedious and you can go wrong in a lot of places so judging from this diagram we have an area being equal to 2 meters squared the perimeter is equal to 5.28 meters and that is how you would answer the question thank you